Rescue crews in Japan are continuing their search efforts in the aftermath of Typhoon Hagibis. The death toll is still growing, but some estimates suggest that there are dozens of victims, hundreds of others are injured. Yesterday, the storm was downgraded to a tropical storm. Authorities in Japan are warning more mudslides are possible with rain forecasts across the region through today. Ramey Innocencio reports. This is one of the worst hit parts of the city that hosted a Winter Olympics. The river breached its levee, destroying all these homes here, flipping over cars like this and toppling power lines. Rescue efforts are now underway across Japan with crews working around the clock. More than 110,000 people have joined search and recovery efforts using everything from helicopters to their bare hands to free people trapped in mudslides. In Fukushima, a 70-year-old woman died while being rescued after emergency responders failed to properly hook in her helicopter harness. She fell 120 feet to her death. While screams were reported coming from a woman who later died after being buried in mud in her collapsing home. Typhoon Hagibis dropped more than three feet of rain in some parts of Japan in less than 24 hours. That rain caused over 20 rivers to overflow, bringing the country to a virtual standstill. In Tokyo, thousands of flights were canceled. And here in Nagano, an overpass and its connecting road along the Chikama River have collapsed and at least 10 of Japan's famous bullet trains were damaged after being submerged by floodwaters. Right now, just a few hundred feet away, repair crews are now trying to fix that broken levee that caused all of this destruction. The power is still out, just like in many other parts of the country, and residents here tell us they don't know when they can come home. Vlad, Anne-Marie. Ramey, thank you very much.